Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How you guys doing, man? Hopefully, you guys are doing well. I'll go by name of Wa Hotel. I'm back again, of course. This is Weekend Reaction, hitting you with another reaction. And of course, we always react to the stuff that we like watching. So we'll be reacting to a video of, of course, The Cut. What a beautiful day it is today in South Africa, man. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, follow us, and do all the nice things. You know what I mean? Comment in the comment section as well. If you would like us to maybe react to a different video that you guys have seen or something that you guys enjoy, do let us know and then we'll definitely have a review at it and then see if we can review it as well. Otherwise, right now, let's do the reaction. Let's get right into the cut. Let's go. What's my best attribute? Ass. Oh my god! <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> Hi. What up? Hi. I'm Deja. I'm Rico. I'm Curtis. I'm Jared. We met on the button. We met on an episode of the button. We won the button. Congratulations. You have won the button. <laughs> you two are going on a second date. You two go on a second date? Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. We went and got some steak. We actually like kicked it like right after we matched that day and like just like hung out in between that before we even like officially had the date. We went on quite a few. We ended up dating. Dating for a little bit. A <laughs> that cut this motherfucker is cute as fuck though, let's be honest, yeah? That cut this motherfucker, the white the white guy, he's fucking handsome, bro. I mean, I don't like the way he's sitting though, you know, sitting a little bit too, you know, girly and whatnot, but like he's fucking, he's, he's, He's shaped properly, bro. He's shaped real fucking properly. You know what I mean? If you could draw a human being, you know what I mean? You would fucking draw him, man. Like, everything is just put to fucking together, bro, you know? People talking about, you know, like, no one can take my girl. Get the fuck out of here. If he had the right fucking posture and a nice Porsche, if you see what I did... He'll fucking take your girl, man. He's looking nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit. Gonna... <laughs> How about we start with the shop? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. She's cute too. <laughs> Woo! We back. <laughs> nah, she's cute though, man. She like hella cute. This black chick with like the, the hair and stuff. She hella, hella cute, man. I don't know about the dude though. I mean, dude looks normal, but like she's like proper, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, man, let's keep watching, I guess. Yeah, right? let's do that. <laughs> okay. What did you think of me the first time you saw me? Oh, yeah, you fine as hell. You're fine as hell, like, literally. I'm pretty sure I said it once I walked in, too. Like, I was like, you're beautiful, this and that. You're beautiful. I didn't know what to say. You look, you look amazing. So. Oh. Other than that, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. I forgot how nice you are. <laughs> I really... And was interested in you to the point where I said to the people, director, let me go talk to this person. She pretty as hell, bro. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah. I think you have a secret admirer. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, tell Ari why you wanted to come in here. I wanted to come in here because I saw you. Oh, and okay. I was just like, she cute, so I ain't pressing nothing. So, I mean, I thought that you, you were cute. I thought you kind of had a good energy. The whole time? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm just making sure. Just making sure. <laughs> All right. So we were placed in the same room and... <sighs> it's chubby girls with dreadlocks for me, man. Fuck. If that's not every man's dream, I don't know what the fuck it is. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is. I'm just out here now, just like... You know what I mean? <laughs> just crushing on all these motherfuckers. All of them. I'm probably going to crush on that table pretty soon. And the glass and, you know, the other chick's hat or some shit. But yeah. Cool, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. <laughs> All right. So we were placed in the same room, and there was a part of me that like wanted to ask if he could come in, but the button ended up asking for me if there was anyone from my room that I would like to send in. So I sent him in. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How's it been out here? It's been questionable. Questionable? Why? Not a whole lot of great options. It's <laughs> slim pickings here in Seattle, I guess. In our room, so, they were pissed. Livid. Cause when we came out with our match, oh, there was it, no, woo! It no, was they like, were like, of course pissed. there is. No, pissed. they were so mad. And I was like, what's wrong with y'all? Oh, yeah. It's not that serious. Not that serious. <laughs> When did you know that you wanted a second date? Probably after going through everybody else. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Oh I'm sorry. God. It's all good. I'll take it. 
I felt like we had the best vibe out of everyone. I felt like it was just easy to just have like banter back and forth. After we took the bus from here to, to, to the Mexican restaurant, <laughs> we were walking out the door and we was like, I mean, it was great. We were smiling from ear to ear, it was exciting. I mean, he was on my arm and shit. And you just fell and I was just like, oh shit, like I'm gonna help you up. And then we rode the bus together. I had my arm around you, it was just like, what you busted up me? I was like, okay. That's somebody that I like to wanna be around that like. I don't know why every time I watch like the cut or like these type of what the cut does, cause they do a couple of different stuff. I always feel like these people have money, bro. Like I always really genuinely feel like they have money and they're living it up and it's like all good and lovely in their life, you know? And here they are speaking about riding the bus. I'm just like, wait, these motherfuckers are poor? <laughs> I just like these motherfuckers are poor. Like, what the fuck's going on, bro? Like, the cut poor too, by the way. The cut is also poor because... I mean, if you're going to get these people to do these shows, why can't you just get them like an Uber home and shit, bro? Especially if they won the show, bro. Like, get them an Uber home, you know? Um, I'm pretty sure they probably got paid, so I guess the cut doesn't have to do it. But still, bro, that's like, that's, that's savagery, bro. Leave the taking the bus shit to me, dog. You know, I do it pretty fucking well. I ain't gonna lie to you, dog. You know what I mean? I do that shit pretty well. So leave that to me, man. Let them, you know, ride in style. Like the wanna be around that, like, don't take situations like that so weird. Like, that made me wanna, like, see you more because it was just like your vibe was cool. What is my best physical attribute? I think you have a very nice smile, but your hair. Your hair is just always, like, oh, picture good. perfect. Okay. Ass. Oh my God, no, he didn't! No. I, I, once I seen you, I was like, God. You know, damn, you know, type shit. Okay. First thing. <laughs> Who's hotter, me or you? We're probably about the same level of hot, but it just kind of depends on your type. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> <laughs> you be so analytical. You be breaking it down so much. I'm like, just say it, Emma. And don't go, I mean, everybody wants to, you know, do, oh, oh, oh. That's wild. All right, fine. Did anything about me give you the ick once we went on our second date? <laughs> Jared, <laughs> the I'm just shot. I'm not gonna answer that. Oh my god. I could sense the nerves. You weren't talking unless I was like talking to you. It felt like I feel like I'm such a strong woman on my own that like I can overpower those situations, and I'm very cautious of that. I think you were just really like. Maybe gonna like you to overpower me is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, yo, if you can overpower, overpower me, dog, in any and everything, you see what I'm saying? Come on, now. talk to me nicely, girl. Talk to me nicely. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my girl's gonna kill me. <laughs> my girl's gonna kill me, bro. Shit. Okay, cool. Really, like, reserved when we were at the restaurant the first, like, right after the shoot. We were waiting on my drink, and the bartender brought drinks to the table next to us first, and you were like... <laughs> you were mean mugging the bartender, like, right. trying to, like, encourage them to bring my drink, and I was like... Oh, like, And, like, you didn't say anything to anybody. You did, like, get up and, you know, like... But both tables got their drinks before we did. It was within a reasonable time frame. Like, I got my drink. It was delicious. It was fine. Like, mm -hmm. that definitely was... I, was I like, respect that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, this is Kelly from Cut. You can play these games at home. Did you know that? You'll make new memories. You'll learn things about people. Maybe a hangover. Maybe some trauma. <laughs> Am I selling it or what? <laughs> Am I selling it or what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Do I have to ask this question? Yes. Why didn't we have sex on our first date? Well, I didn't know you, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Fuck a random, you know? What the fuck did this guy just say right now? I'm fucking pissed. I'm pissed. I'm fucking livid, bro. What the fuck did this guy just say right now, dog? Someone strangle him. Someone fucking strangle him, dog. We need someone to go through the fucking screen and kill this motherfucker, dog. Like, what the fuck? Do you see her, bro? Come on, dog. I can't even, I can't, I can't be the only one that says this shit, dog. Come on, I can't, I can't. Don't look at me like, don't look at me like I'm, I'm, I'm messed up, you know what I mean? I'm trash, you know what I mean, and whatnot. Nah, don't look at me like that, but come on, do you see her, bro? 
Come on, bro. And you know what's crazy? We're all going to sit here and act like we've never had like a one night stand. You know what I mean? Like, you like you've never slept with someone. You know what I mean? By mistake, obviously. But it's like, you know what I mean? You're at the club, bro. You're at the club. You know, and the drinks are flowing. You know what I mean? It's just hot. You know what I mean? It's just hot. So, you know, you do the things, dog. You know? Why is he acting like he goes to church on Tuesdays and Wednesdays and shit? Do you know what I mean? You know those people that always have to feel like they're above everything. Like they always want to make sure. You know what I mean? They'll go to church on every fucking day, bro. He fucking acting like that, bro. God damn it, bro. You could have had a fucking lovely life, dog. You could have had such beautiful kids, bro. Got a married, dog. She probably is going to make more money than you, dog. You would have been like a stay-at-home dad that drives the M3, that goes to a holiday in like, you know what I mean? Bangkok and shit, bro, you know? But nah, dog. You don't fucking sleep with someone on the first date. Bitch ass. I'm not going to fuck a random, you know? It's like okay. somebody that I don't truly really know. People thought that like there was like this crazy sexual tension or something like that, like in our video. Sanrika's <laughs> tongue can go down to his chin. Yep. I can show you like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Yeah. I'm not hitting it after that. <laughs> in reality, that's not my personality at all. Actually, I saw some comments people were posting like, oh, my big girl hit it, whatever. And you were liking the comments and I, what do you mean yes? Yeah, I was liking it. I know that, it was funny cause like, guarantee like I already know the answer. Like us, we didn't fuck at all. And they would've asked me. You heard it here me. first, folks. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't do anything. <laughs> Why didn't we have sex? Not even a kiss, my nigga. Not even a kiss, bro. God damn it, bro. I don't know why this shit is rubbing off me off the wrong way, dog. But I'm just, I'm just angry. I'm upset. I'm upset. Maybe it's my own personal shit in my life. That you know what I mean? That's creeping up in this video right now. I don't know. But god damn it, you could have at least given her a fucking kiss, bro. Damn it. Yeah, it's tough. Why didn't we have sex on the first date? Because I just am trying to be more intentional. But did you feel physically attracted to me? Though? Yeah, but again, I wanted to be more intentional. Like, was, that, was that shoulder? Yeah, sure. Yes, I did find you attractive. Again, we had ample opportunity to push the button, and I did not push it. You ain't, you can press it. I mean, I'm cool with I like the vibe, but I ain't got nothing to press. My hand's under the table. I don't get a lot of straight answers from you sometimes. Sometimes it was given like straight vibes, no tea, no shade. Like when we left Wasabi and Rendezvous and got those, got free tickets to get into the drag show, like I wanted to put my arm around you and stuff like that. And like you were swole up, you know, you closed up on me and different things like that. Wait, you know? Ari, was V correct? Were you closed off? I mean, if she perceived me that way, I, I That's think. That's <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess let her talk and like say. All right. Well, one, I'm not like a big like PDA, like touchy feely kind of person. You never said any of that to me, though. Like, I feel you like never, you we never talked about you we talked about we talked about love languages feeling. and stuff like you that. Physical that. touch was really low down on my. Uh huh. Girl. And you said you was down to hold hands when we could kick it at you, and I did, and I put my arm around you, and you shook up on me. Okay. I'm not gonna argue with you. Yo, I know I'm disturbing this fucking video in between something else, but I was just thinking of something else while they were actually talking. You know, they mentioned the whole thing of love languages. And like, it just recently fucking hit me that like, I actually never knew what the fuck they were talking about when they were like, what's your love language? Like, I never really fucking got it, bro, you know? Obviously, I pretended like I got it because, you know, I don't look stupid, you know what I mean? I don't look like a fucking idiot, dog. Who wants to look like an idiot? Not me, you know? But like I never fucking got it, you know what I mean? Like I, I'd be there in conversations and shit and naming stuff that's not even on the fucking, you know what I mean? Because apparently there's like five of them. I was naming shit that's not even there, bro. You know what I mean? And people would look at me weird and shit, you know? But um, yeah, so I recently learned this shit, dog. Like it's actually so fucking beautiful, you know? I'm going to try to name a couple of them, but I want to give you guys what my one is. I think the first one is like touch, those acts of service. There is, um, fuck, I forgot the other ones, right? Um, but the one that hit me for me was acts of service. I was like, I think, I think I'm really, I'm really an act of service type of person, you know, type of guy, you know, 
Like, fuck touch, dog. Fuck touch and fuck, like, you know what I mean? Hugging and, and cuddling and shit, dog. I want my woman to cook for me, to clean for me, to, like, just do things for me, you know what I mean? And it's not necessarily, like, having to cook and clean, but, like, you know what I mean? Acts of service, man, like, really showing appreciation to me and treating me like this, you know what I mean? This little baby that I am, dog. That shit's so cute, bro. That shit is so cute, bro. And most men... Just to also remind all the women, most men fucking love that shit. They'll name all the other shit. Like, men obviously love sex and shit. But acts of service for a man is more than just, a, like, sex comes after, dog. You know what I mean? If you get a woman that, you know what I mean? Like, you're just chilling there, you're watching a movie, and they just whip out a nice snack for you, dog. And you're just chilling, dog. You're just chilling, dog. Whip out a nice snack for you, dog. You know what I mean? When you're done with it, she's like, let me massage you. Let me, mas- you know, let me massage your feet. Like, come on, dog. If that shit's not sexy. I don't know what is, dog. I'm going to leave it at that. Come on. I'm not going to argue with you. What was the first sign that maybe it wasn't going to work out with us? <laughs> uh, we were not good no. at talking to each other. And I'm a strong believer, like, at least check in once a day. Curtis and I would check in, like... <laughs> Things Every got five a little, days. Things got a little hectic. Every four days we check in. Hey, how's it going? There's like moments of like, hey, just like, are you alive? <laughs> just quick little thumbs up. Let me know. When we first started texting and everything after the second date, it was like always late replies and everything, you I know. I am a bad texter. You post on uh, social media, but won't get back to mm. me at all. So I'd just be like, I'm wasting my time, you know? So. Were you double texting? Of course, you know, and people be saying, if people be saying, like, that's wrong and stuff, like, if you truly are interested in somebody, then, like, you'll make that time to double text, triple text, whatever the case may be, you know? You made me feel like I was a broke-ass nigga. I, I have, like, that's kind of where we, like, stopped talking at, was this money thing. Like, I know I make less than you. We had just started talking, and you How said, like... How the fuck like, did I guess, like, in my head, that somehow I knew that, like, <laughs> this dude is fucking broke, dog. He ain't got no fucking money, dog. I don't know what it is, but it was just like, my girl, my homie, your ass is in the same fucking line where I'm at, at fucking Department of Labor trying to get a fucking new job, bro. You know what I mean? Or applying for UIF, you know? You broke, I'm broke. I know broke nigga when I see a broke nigga because I am a broke motherfucking nigga, dog. You know what I mean? Like, it's in me, dog. I'm done. Come on. Talking, and you said, like, all the things you do in your life seems like a financial risk, and I'm like, I've been doing it, though. Ari, do you make a lot of money? <laughs> no. Like, I feel but like... She got a stable career, and she emphasized that so much in our conversations. I want, I want someone to be making the same amount for me or maybe a little bit more. Like, I didn't grow up, like, rich or anything like that, but I grew up very stable. My parents impressed... Okay, that's a bit fucked up, though. That's a bit fucked up. That's that, like, you know what I mean? That's a bit fucked up, man. That chick needs to relax, though, because, like... For me, I think what's important is, like... It's not who, who makes more money or who's more stable, but it's people that I think maybe it's more whether they have a, you know, they're working towards something, dog, you know? But I think, I guess that's what she was trying to say because it also sounded like this motherfucker ain't trying to do nothing. It also sounded like he's just, like, chilling. Like, he, he does not give a fuck about anything, dog. You know what I mean? I guess that's what she was trying to say. I think, I think that's what she was trying to say, you know? But money should never be an issue in love, gents. You know what I mean? Money should never be an issue in love. If you love each other, as long as someone has a stable job and is trying to work, work towards something and is willing to also like improve their life, improve themselves and grow and be a better person, that's all that's important. You know? Money will always fucking come. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. With that said though, my niggas out there, like all the homies, gents, let's get this money done. Because women now... Women now are getting money, dog. And if you want a good woman, you want to, you know, you want to drive and you want to give her or you want to give yourself the satisfaction of being next to a lovely fucking woman, dog, you got to get this money, dog. If you ain't getting this money, dog, you're just going to fucking settle. There's nothing more that sucks than fucking settling. You know what I mean? It's better to settle for something like that. But I grew up very stable. Mm. My parents impressed on me. Like, you know, you got to be able to take care of yourself. Like my parents did the same thing, though. You're a black woman out here, too. Your hustle is different from my hustle, but we still all out here hustling. You understand what I'm saying? And it really hurt my feelings. Like it made me feel like I was not good enough to be up in your shit. Like 
You didn't even know who I was. Sorry, I got a little no, choked. You're good, you're good, you're good. Do you still find me attractive after getting to know me better? That's painful. I think physically you are beautiful, but I'd say like it's not attractive to me to feel like sexualized personally. I'm not saying that you are sexualizing me, but you saying like the ass thing, that wasn't a great feeling. Do you still find me attractive after getting to know me better? What? That's it? You, you I found you attractive too. You're <laughs> getting to know you better too. <laughs> you, were, you were getting upset with me for not just giving like a straight yes or no and I gave you a straight yes or no. I just said that's it. Yeah. Was there anyone in that episode you thought was cuter than me? No. I'm trying to be nice. I mean, I think it was pretty obvious I wasn't attracted to most of the people there. Love your nails. Thank you. I love your nails. Love, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <gasps> Sorry. But like, what the fuck was that? That's who you're gonna pair me up with? There were a couple good-looking people there, but so there were some that were more attractive than me. It's I'm, okay. like, I'm not saying everyone there was hideous. <laughs> Should we just go ahead and kiss and see if there is chemistry? I'm gonna say no. All right, come on. Oh, I was gonna say yes, 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 yes. Fucking kiss, 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 kiss. Come on. I'm gonna say no. All right, come on. Fuck. I was trying to do that after the first date when I let you, when I walked you to the motherfucking bus. Wait, have y'all never kissed? No. Yeah. Ari wouldn't let it happen. What do you mean, let it happen? It's Ari's fault. Oh, it's my fault. It is. Okay, it's my fault. It is. Should we just go ahead and kiss and see if there's chemistry? Yes or no? I, I mean, I am open. <laughs> Take a drink. Take it. I'm a pour. <laughs> are you? Is that a lean in? Yeah, I'm like, what are you doing? No. Are you leaning in? Okay. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'll give you a pack. Okay, a little pack. Aww. Oh, there was a spark. <laughs> were you actually looking for love or were you just trying to be on camera? I should've got that question to ask her, ah, to be honest. What? Hey, that's crazy. Whoa. I should've got that, Whoa. I should've got that. All right. I don't know why in my mindset, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna look for love, you know? Really? Like, okay. the possibility of finding love on cut, hey, it can actually happen, you never know. Yeah, I did do it just for the screen time, not gonna lie. Funny how we both just wanted screen time and we're the ones that matched. I told but, you how embarrassing it is to be in a video and not be the thumbnail. Mitch you were the on thumbnail. the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> but I was. <laughs> Mm -hmm. How was that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think some stuff had to get cleared up, and that's cool. Ari, what do you think? Friendship still? Yeah, like I'm down. Like the black community is small in this area, the queer community is smaller in this area. Like I absolutely would love being friends with you. Just bumping into her, being cordial, seeing her thrive. So associates is what she's saying. Cordial. Well, I, heard, I heard friends. I heard cordial associates. <laughs> what I heard. <laughs> There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys for joining us again on Weekend Reaction, watching another video of The Cut. As you guys can see, I've been relegated, by the way, from the fucking living room to the room because my girl is just like, fuck that shit. I'm tired of every time having to leave the living room, going into the room, so it's your turn to be in the living room. Here I am. Hopefully everything does still look amazing and look a little bit dope. I know I haven't cut myself like my, you know, I don't look that amazing, but hopefully you guys will bear with me and still enjoy the video. Please do like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell so that you know whenever we're actually uploading on the channel. For now, I'll see you guys on the next one. Please love and harmony. Let's go.